living out your childhood dreams and everything you've worked for. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you. You guys, uh, everybody's draft weekend experience is different. So I got to hear about your guys, any emotions, anything your family said to you during the weekend? Um, so I had a, a little get together, nothing crazy. Obviously, my closest family are friends and um, they like kind of my little sister made a video where she got like um, a lot of the people in my corner um, to like record themselves and send in like what they felt about me and everything and like Luke popped up and uh, some tears kind of started flowing during that during that video. It's kind of crazy, um, but it's just a surreal experience. Um, you know, truly awesome and blessed. Yeah, I uh, so I've been up when I, I training in uh, Maple Grove with living with the Winnikeys, and uh, I ended up staying up there uh, instead of going home to Omaha to see my family, and they were cool with that and everything. And um, so it was nice. We just had a little low key gathering and everything, and um, but I had multiple calls from them, just keeping staying updated with them and, uh, you know, what was going to happen and everything. And, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, yeah, like these guys, it was a pretty small, um, get together. Um, but it was just, it's kind of, I don't know. I wasn't expecting to be as stressed as I was, I guess. Um, cause I knew at the end of the day, I was going to be on a football team and I was excited about that. Um, but it was, I mean, every time someone calls you, my agent would call me, everyone in my family would just like look at me, like what's happening, what's happening. Like it's hard to explain it to them because they haven't gone through the process and stuff. And um but at the end of the day, just being on a team was was the main goal and um that's what we got done. And this is a day you guys have talked about with each other probably since you got to SDSU. Uh what were the texts like? What were the conversations, phone calls like um with each other when you found out? When I found out that um, Luke had, signed, or had, you know, was going to sign with the Lions and everything, you know, I kind of teared up a little bit. Obviously, me and him been so close. Like, we shared the same backfield, and he was blowing everything up for all of us in the, in the running back room and everything. So, um, just hearing about that, I, I was so um, so filled with joy. And then with Christian, um, I was told that um, by one of our coaches that he might be getting drafted by the Broncos coming into the day. So, um, that sixth, seventh round, every time the Broncos came up, I was like, you know, is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? And then um, it didn't happen, but I saw that he was signing with the Rams, so that was just an awesome experience to see that, too. Once it uh, was confirmed and everything, like, I it was just, like, I mean, I, I was speechless because, like, it was actually happening. I mean, everything I've been dreaming about working for, like, this is it. And then, uh, I mean, yeah, I, I had a few tears shed as well. Um, the phone, you know, a lot of calls coming in, people saying, you know, they love me and so proud of me and everything. So, uh, yeah, it was, uh, uh, I'll never forget that day. That's for sure. We haven't really been talking about this since freshman year. I wasn't expecting to be in this, um, position, but I mean, just happy for our guys. Um, just cause it is, I mean, SDSU is, it's a little bit harder to get in the situation that we're in. Um, so just to see the guys that, I've played five years with succeeding is just awesome and um, that I know will continue to succeed at the next level. You told me that you're getting iPads from your teams this week. Is there anything that your new coaching staffs have said to kind of keep you motivated or are you holding yourself accountable on um, just with workouts and everything going on until you're able to report? Um, just, you know, that how uh, crucial it is to stay in shape. Um, you know, it's a cutthroat business now and, uh, if you're not in shape, you pretty much get cut. So that's enough incentive and motivation in, in, its, in itself. Um, you know, just seeing all the support from everybody, um, reaching out and everything like that, that's another motivator and, and incentives for me to keep working. And um, just my mom and my family, just how filled with joy the whole day made them, you know, that's, you know, my biggest motivation. Yeah, I'd say uh, just with, like, what Mikey said there, you know, all the support and everything. Uh, with people reaching out and everything that definitely just feels even more uh you know when you got that, that many people backing you up um and then just at the end of the day like there's so many other people like who would love to be in your shoes um who aren't getting an opportunity so like i just cherish this opportunity even more and just uh realize how blessed i am with this and uh gonna make the most of each and every day to be prepared, be prepared when it comes to training camp uh yeah i guess for me just 
we never know when it's going to be that we have to go back um, or I guess not back, but go to our new homes. But so you just kind of have to stay ready for whenever it is. I don't know how long of a um, time it's going to be where they say, Hey, get out of here in a week. Or is it going to be, Hey, get out of here in a couple of days. So, I mean, you, you have to stay ready the whole time. So I think Sunday was good to just kind of step back, um, enjoy the moment a little bit and then get back to work. Cause um, that's, that's our job now. So. Mikey headed to Atlanta, Luke, you're going to Detroit, Christian, you're headed to LA. What are you guys most excited to experience or kind of see in your new cities? Uh, you know, Coach Johnson loves Atlanta. He's always talking to me about it. And uh, on the low, he, he always wanted me to go there. He's like, I, I just have a feeling you're going to go there. And uh, so he's always talking to me about it. He's like, I can't wait to, to get back. He thinks it's his home for some reason. Um, so I'm excited for him to show me around and and stuff like that. And then also, I just love being in the South. Um, I love like heat and humidity and stuff like that. That's just kind of who I am. And so being able to be down there is gonna be awesome. Um, and on top of that, you know, I'm being in the same backfield with Todd Gurley. So, um, you know, thankfully he came over from the, from Christian's team. Um, much rather be blocking <laughs> him and having Christian play against him than, you know, vice versa. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, as far as Detroit, uh, um... Never been in Michigan itself, um, but yeah, looking forward to just uh, exploring the city. Uh, you know, I've, I've only heard a few things about it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do some exploring. We're going to we're going to figure it out, but uh, yeah, I'm just excited for the new opportunity and um, new place to live. Uh, so I've only been to California once, and it was about two months ago, and. Uh, I like, I mean, I liked it. It was, I went in January, so I was coming from Minneapolis and went to LA. So, I mean, I could tell the difference um, right away. And I mean, I'm just excited for a change of scenery a little bit and new adventures and um, all that comes with it, I guess. Well, best of luck to you guys. I know we're all rooting for you and we'll be watching your uh, careers and everything. And I just know that uh, Jack Rocket Nation is behind you every step of the way. So really cool for you guys. Uh, very excited and hopefully we'll see you guys reporting there soon.